Sharon Whiteley, welcome to my living room. Oh, it's great to be there, Lisa. Yeah, well, I would never do an interview wearing a mask. <laughs> However, uh, there's a special reason why I'm doing so today. You are the founder and creator of True 47, and we're here to talk about your mesh masks made of silver. And I have to say, they have been a godsend during quarantine for me and going out in public because they're lightweight. Right now in New York, New Jersey, the heat wave, I mean, it's just been a summer long heat wave. I know I'm preaching to the choir because you're in Arizona, but this mask allows you to breathe while also being very protective. So thank you so much for creating this um, product. Well, well, thank you and thank you for wearing it. And the only thing I'll say about the weather is it's dry. So it's good, good hair weather in Arizona. Oh. Not humid. <laughs> I wish I could say the same thing here. <laughs> but let's let's hear all about your story because off camera you explained that you actually created the company pre-COVID and this was kind of like a happy accident. Well, it did it, it, uh, serendipitous, I guess we would call it. Yeah, True 47 started, uh, it created around four and a half years ago for a couple of reasons. Number one, um, I had known about silver as being an antimicrobial agent, and uh, every business I've had has always been involved in, in innovative, safe, healthy ways to enhance people's lives and well-being. And I had um, gotten sick. I, this might be too long a story, but I've gotten sick at a restaurant, and I thought it was food poisoning, but I couldn't walk, so I went to the hospital, and they said, you have burst appendicitis. They said, no, I don't. But anyway, they put me on antibiotics, and I said, I can't. And they said, why not? I said, because they'll make me nauseous and, and uncomfortable. They said, well, we think what you have, it might be, that might be a good trade-off. Anyway, I did get sort of nauseous and uncomfortable. And then I had an aha moment about silver. And um, we use silver in some grounding footwear we made. That's another story too. But, um, but I, um, I got fascinated and that led to a year of research. Um, we had an independent research and we used the University of Arizona labs and we tested pure silver against every single gel spray and disinfectant on the market. And so fell in love with silver. So that company uh, creates a whole bunch of silver, pure silver. And this is, I'm wearing our scarf, so I'm matching you, but I can go okay. out to the again and wear it and just pull it over. This is 99.99% .99 pure silver. The other thing that's really important about our silver, it's, 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 it's called ionically bathed. It is not nanotechnology. You know, I think sometimes people hear nano and they think it's the latest and greatest in science, but that is actually coated little particles. This is actually a ripstock nylon, very fine, bathed in silver. It's plated, it will never come off. They'll last for life. They're self-sanitizing, which is sort of counterintuitive. I just say, how can that be? Bacteria, fungus, and viruses just cannot grow on silver. That goes back to 4000 BC. We didn't create that. We weren't that smart. The ancients knew. So anyway, to, uh, so we have this whole company with this wonderful, a whole bunch of silver products, wipes, this, this, and I actually created a mask last fall for friends that were going through treatment and had poor immune systems. And, and also um, friends of ours and a distributor and a friend in Asia and this environmentally, they wear masks a lot, but it's sat. And then, and then the world changed. So we've been scurrying to really make a whole line of, of, of silver masks that are, that are they're for social distancing, um, but they are efficacious, they're non-toxic, they're, they're safe, they will last forever and you can breathe. And that's the thing we found the most that people wear them because they can breathe. Also silver is really nice for your skin. It's, it, it really um, is so, that's, that's what led to uh, our expansion here into mass face shields and, and uh, we're asking make, making a neat sort of uh, mask mist that also has pure essential oils and colloidal silver in it too. So if you want a little bit of a refresher, you can do that too. Uh, we love silver. Yeah, I love it. And it's pretty. Like this mask that I'm wearing right now, it's so pretty. Well, we have kids ones too. We have little kids and big kids and little girls love the dazzle. And actually some big kids, somebody told me, I don't know how appropriate this is for an interview. She said, I think I actually got picked up because I was wearing a very sparkly mask. 
Oh, I love that. See, it's even good for dating. <laughs> like, I, where do you produce your mask? Is it in the United States or? Yes, yes. We um, the fabric actually comes from Germany and the United States, and it is plated here. So we we scurried around too, and we have two. Uh, manufacturers, cut and sew manufacturers, and people that we've been able to uh, support getting back into business as well in the United States. So, I um, mean, we do have one overseas supplier that does just stitching just to help with some production, but we should actually ship yardage and just get lots of silver. So, so it is pure silver. So, so we say made in the USA, which we're very proud of. How many people are on your staff? We're a small company. I'd say we have about, um, we have around four full-time people and a whole bunch of, of people that are involved with us uh, more tangentially. So when the news of COVID-19 broke out, you know, obviously the PPE, everyone was, there was such a shortage, right? Were you kind of excited? Were you freaking out? You know, were you scrambling to try and meet this demand? Because this is such a big opportunity for you. Well it, well, it is. And we think that, you know, the world will probably forever be changed about how all of us, we felt they were. We felt four years ago, people were interested in more natural ways of staying healthy. But also everything we do is scientifically based. So this is not woo-woo, crunchy granola stuff. And there are a lot of charlatans out there. So I actually, the way I felt about it, truth be told, I just got back from China on January 21st, because we also manufacture shoes. So my feelings were very mixed. I was very happy to be back safely. And then secondly, how could we add, because we have these great cloths, we have handle wraps, we have wipes, we have a bunch of things already that people use to take care of themselves and support their immune systems too. So we just scurried to get into production and find manufacturers that can make, uh, could make them right. It's a very fragile fabric to work with. Yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, um, do you, you have a lot in stock or are they on back order right now? No, we, we believe in taking care of our customers. So we keep a constant replenishment and we've also made some too with some copper outer layers. Uh, copper is a different property. It's, it's, uh, it's more of an antiviral, but, but that has silver on the inside. So we, we, we want to serve our constituents and everybody with, with real pure silver. And I, it's uh, so I think we feel fortunate for the opportunity and and it's been endearing just for so many people that um, they said it's changed their lives because they have to wear masks. They have to go to work. Their face is breaking out a lot of women too from mask knee, you know, and all that and and all that. But so it, it feels really good. So we we um, it's not that, you know, speaking business wise, it's not the highest margin business. Silver is a commodity. It's a precious metal. So it doesn't make a difference if we do one, 10, 100, 10,000, you know, silver, silver, but we, we're we just really, our our goal and our intention and our vision, our mission has always been to um, to serve our, our customers and our fans with something that is helpful to them. So that's what keeps us going. So I guess it's safe to say that you haven't gotten much sleep over the past, what, six months? Well, it's, uh, it's, uh, the, well, the fair amount. I've, I've learned to change my sort of habits. I'm actually sort of an introvert. So, so some of it is not a huge dramatic change for me, but I, I work a fair amount. <laughs> well, where can people find out more about you and to order masks of their own? So, well, about the masks, I'm, I'm not a central sort of figure here. I'm just sort of a, I'm, I'm behind the scenes a lot, but um, we have a website, um, TRU. 47.com. 47 is actually the periodic scientific symbol for silver. Just Love that's that. where that name came inspired from. And everything we do is true in integrity, true in quality. That's that's where our name comes from. But tru47.com is our website. And we do sell to um, some select um, um, uh, businesses and uh, that have a wholesale arm. Um, there are a few um, really wonderful sort of estheticianers salon type of places where their practitioners can wear them so that's been fun and uh but we're we're primarily an online company we used to also be events as well and look forward to getting back out there and being part of events where we can showcase things and meet people oh so, i can't uh, wait for that day but i have a feeling when we're back in full sing with events this will be just as needed as a cell phone well you know it'll be interesting i think we felt the movement definitely um, uh, because we're, we're into natural wellness and a, and a 
few other products as well. But I think we, the movement has been over the last decade for sure, just people's interest um, in things that are alternative, but are safe. They're not, they're not chemical, they're not alcohol based. And uh, so I think, I think our, um, I'm not, I don't like jargon, but I think the zeitgeist of where we're at has really changed, you know? Yeah. So I think, I think people will look at, at how they care for themselves differently. So we'll be here to serve them in whatever way we can. Well, Sharon, this was so much fun. Thank you so, so much. Well, thank you. And the mask looks adorable. Oh, actually, did we also did a whole photo shoot? We just call it Smiling Eyes, and we call it. You know, we have the silver. We have the silver lining to social distancing, but but it's great for people's eyes. There are there are trade offs. There are benefits. You can see your eyes. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And makeup artists, I know, are having a field day doing like yeah. really really cool looking eye looks because of the mask to compensate. But, um, you know, but thank you for just making the mask thing so much easier to handle. Oh, well, well, thank you for having me and for, for sharing the news and we welcome any and all feedback. And uh, yeah, we look forward to sort of days ahead when things are a little bit, a little bit um, calmer, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Please, 2021 can't come soon enough, right? I know, yeah. <laughs> Thank well, thank you. And say hello to the East Coast for me. Maya. I will. Yeah. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Bye Cher.